We call it perception. We call it measurement. We call it analysis. But in the end, it's about how we take the world as it is and derive from it the impression of it that we have in our minds. We might have thought that we could do science purely objectively, without any reference to observers or their nature. But what we've discovered, particularly dramatically in our physics project, is that the nature of us as observers is critical even in determining the most fundamental laws we attribute to the universe. Central to what we think of as an observer is the notion that the observer will take the raw complexity of the world and extract from it some reduced representation suitable for a finite mind. There might be zillions of photons impinging on our eyes, but all we extract is the arrangement of objects in a visual scene. In the end, we can think of it fundamentally as being about equivalencing. There's in a sense a certain duality between computation and observation. In computation, one's generating new states of a system. In observation, one's equivalencing together different states. That equivalencing must in the end be implemented underneath by computation. But in observer theory, what we want to do is just characterize the equivalencing that's achieved.